Jack, that was a, an interesting press conference with Sam fighting your corner as always. What did you make of his claims that he'd heard that Regis said that he wasn't a world class fighter? And that's fine, you know, everybody's entitled to their opinion. Uh, if that's what gives him confidence, that's fine. Uh, listen, I know it's going to be a tough fight, a two time world champion, uh, but I'm here to prove that I do belong at this level and that uh, it's a fight that I believe I can win. He was convincingly beaten by Devin Haney at the end of last year, no shame in that. But did you see a lot of holes in his game that you're looking to exploit in August? Of course, although you prepare for Reed just to be at his best, you only have to look at his last couple of performances. I think they've been below par. Uh, I wasn't overly impressed when he boxed his homecoming fight in New Orleans. Uh, I was at the, uh, the Haney fight. Again, he got picked apart quite easy by an alleged non-puncher, so he's there to be beaten. Uh, uh, and I'll say it again, it's a tough fight, but it's a fight I believe I can beat him. Massively exciting fights ahead after this. We know that ideally you'd like Tiafimo, but you want a world title regardless of who it is. But Tiafimo is a massive name in America. Would you like to bring him over here and fight at the Coop Arena, if that could be possible? Of course I would. That's always a dream to headline events uh, in your home country. Uh, right now the main focus is Regis. Uh, that fight's end of August. Uh, we know how the, the division looks and there's a lot of big and entertaining fights to be made, but I must handle business first. Can I ask how you feel you would match up with Tiafimo right now? I know you, the thoughts are on Regis, but how do you feel you'd match up with him right now? I feel like I'm coming, in, coming into my prime now. I feel like uh, Regis, again, terrific fighter. Uh, he's been there and done it, but I feel like uh, I can beat all these guys. Do you feel that Josh Taylor is truly behind you now? I know Bob Arum has called for the trilogy. He had his say very openly in the ring after that fight. Do you feel that that is done? Or if you become a world champion, he works his way up. That would be still a massive fight. Yeah, listen, you consider all options for me. Uh, that chapter's closed. It's done. Um, in the future, I've got a fight right now. But in the future, if the public demand that fight, the promoters want to see that fight, then obviously we entertain it. But right now, I can't think about Josh Taylor or the future. I've got to focus on what's in front of me. What do you make of the Ryan Garcia situation as well? Obviously, he's been suspended. What do you make of it? I don't read into it too much. Uh, obviously, I'm an advocate. I always sign up. I'm in for clean sport. Uh, it's not It's not acceptable to be taking anything. Now, I don't know the ins and outs and uh, the detail of it all, so I can't speak on that, but uh, I'm for a clean sport of boxing. If he was to return in a year or so, whenever the suspension is done, would you feel comfortable stepping in the ring with him or would you have to have a lot of background knowledge of how the testing's going, you'd have to see everything? Yeah, but saying that, we've just seen that uh, the test only come to light after the fight, so I don't think there's any way of, of, of foolproofing it uh, completely because uh, it might be the last test before the fight and by that time you, you're already in the ring fighting. So, uh, But again, uh, and I've made it clear, I want all the smoke, I want all the big fights. Uh, if Garcia comes back, if Haney's fighting and I'm in a position to, to face off any of these guys, then I'm there for it. What do you make of the alleged discussions about the Saudis unifying all the major promoters in boxing? And, you know, that could hopefully one day lead to one world title per weight division like the UFC. Is that something that you'd like to see in yeah, the future? The idea of it, I think it's a great idea. Uh, the fact that we're seeing now over the last years, couple of months, the promoters working together, fights that we didn't necessarily think we were going to see are getting made. Uh, these core promotion shows, I think it's only great for, for us as fighters, but as well for the fans. Uh, we're getting to see big, big cards and, and all the networks getting together, so I'm all for it. Final one, I know your teammate Pat Brown, who I'm working very closely with, he's going to represent Team GB at the Olympics. How inspiring is it? being a part of his journey and hopefully he brings home the gold. Yeah, I'm Team Pat Brown. Uh, I'm excited for his journey uh, in the sport. Uh, he's already achieved way more than uh, a lot of people could imagine. He's got a big tournament coming up end of July, early August in the Olympics in Paris. So uh, I'm in full support of him and uh, I'm excited to follow his journey.